We've got lots of cool stuff laid out here on the table, thanks to the guys at Fitec Fuel Injection. Now, when it comes to making this thing even cooler, I mean, it's a rough looking truck, but it drives great. And that's yes. what it's all about is the performance and we're focusing in on right now. So what we've got here is a Fitec Offenhauser 351 Windsor Fuel Injection Kit. And like the name says, Everything you need for this specific application is right here. They've got a 500 horsepower kit as well as a 750, and we're not even scratching the surface of right. 500, so this will be plenty. So it comes with the cast Offenhauser intake manifold. You've got the throttle body, you've got the fuel rails, you've got the fuel injectors, and pretty much everything else you need. You know, the simplicity of the, the throttle body type system in terms of the installation with the port injection of you having one of those systems makes this thing really the perfect combination. I can tell you're excited about this because I couldn't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> but it is cool because he does get really excited about this. You know, we're going to get that whole carburetor out of the way and all this, that, the other. But let's talk about this. Let's go back in time to this morning when we were driving this thing, right? And you mentioned Sleeper, I think, in the intro. Yeah. And we were saying how good it drives. And it's going to be a lot of fun because, you know, basically everything on this truck, except maybe 98% of the body is pretty good, <laughs> right? So what's going to happen is once this system is in place, dude, we're going to pull up to the line and some kid's going to pull up next to us, you know, with the stereo playing really loud. And he's like, hey, old man. And then boom. We're you get that a lot, that old man, don't you? No, not really. I was more, he, he it was more of a scenario yeah. for you. It's trying to be relatable. Oh, okay, I got you. All right, you want me to get the stuff out of the way? Yeah, get the stuff out of the way because <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to put in here. Welcome back to Truck U. So up in the front, underneath the hood, the Fitec fuel system is ready to go. Now we can move back here to the rear end of the vehicle for the in-tank fuel pump module, dude. This is gonna be nice and easy. It really is. You know, when you put fuel injection on a vehicle, you have to increase the fuel volume going to it. You need more pressure to run that fuel injection system. So, because your traditional pump's not gonna work or keep be able to keep up. With this, it keeps everything nice and compact. So the intake pump slides down inside the tank. It's universal in the fact that it gives you plenty of material to work with because what you want to do is you want the pump itself to sit at the bottom of the tank. And depending on what tank you've got being universal, you'll cut this down to this goes to the bottom and the pump sits right there. All you have to do is get a hole saw and cut the hole in the top of the tank for this go down to go down into. And the other thing too, it doesn't require a fuel regulator. It's an intake regulator, so that's one less thing you have to have and you'll have the right fuel flow in one less line because you don't need to return. Now, we say all you got to do is cut a hole in the top of the fuel tank. And a lot of people don't want to do that, and we understand that completely. And if that's something that you do not want to tangle with, you can get with Fitec, and they have a large line of fuel tanks for a lot of the vehicles on the road. So if you don't want to do all that, what you were just talking about, I get it, right? <laughs> you don't have to. Just call Fitec and get a tank that's already ready for all that. Yeah, you can drop it in. Now, this is where the old fuel pump is. Is yep. that What we'll do is just cap that, but we'll still use this to use power for the sending unit. Okay. Sounds good. Seven and a half. So we got here. It's there actually. So we'll end up cutting at this mark here. 